We go to the main menu now. Probably. Hello? Are our guests yes. we live right now? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. I yes. hope everyone can hear me. Hello, my name is Catalyst. With me is Kribben and Tokaloni Eins. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. It's the third game in the Sans trilogy. Uh, the worst one of them, objectively and subjectively. <laughs> And it starts with a nice cutscene, so we're just gonna talk a little bit about the game, I guess. Um, also, you might know me from different runs, I guess, for, from different games, but uh, yeah, I used to run this for some reason, and I decided to submit this for some reason, and it got accepted for some reason, so I here we are. I see a pattern here, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> so here we are, and um, And yeah. it's Kata's fault. Yeah, it, it is basically my fault, basically my fault. So the timer is going to start like after the cutscene. I think I have like this button here that I'm supposed to press, but I'm only used to resetting, so I'm not using... Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, uh, also, yeah. you set everyone up to think it's shit. It's a great run. Just don't worry. He, he's just being negative. He's been running the game for like 24 hours straight. Okay, Woo! let's go. <laughs> so we're already on a good pace because the game didn't crash right after <laughs> the main menu. So that's pretty cool. Because we actually, what we did, there's like a lot of cutscenes that are unskippable. So we just, well, I, don't, I guess not a lot, but there's some cutscenes that are CGI and unskippable. So we just decided to uh, delete them. I also hope that the game's in 60 FPS. It should be on this monitor. If not, we will have issues, but I think it's good. You will notice in about nine minutes yeah. what FPS we're on. So right now, like as with every pop game, before we get the rewind feature, we're just basically gonna do a lot of platforming. There were already some little tricks I did. This one is a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can get it. it Saves like 25 seconds ish. The fish gotta skip. Absolutely, yeah, easy. I, I do it honestly. It's just free. Dude, Oops. that was fast. Yeah, just like that pillar, very fast. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it skip? Well, it skips picking up a weapon. So right now I don't have any weapons, even though I should. But it's no big deal, because fighting enemies in this game is a waste of time. Another little skip, just jumping on this ladder, auto-aim, makes us hit it. Also, on the flat ground, I'm usually going to be rolling, because it's a little bit faster than running. So I'm going to be trying to chain the rolls. Like, if, if they're chained properly and cancelled properly, they are a little bit faster. Again, some little movement. No big deal. Uh, it's going to be a little cutscene. So, one thing that I can do, even though I don't have weapons, I can do a secondary attack on a wall. And if I do it correctly, uh, the fall damage starts to count basically after the attack is done, so I can survive a higher fall. I'm gonna try it. I'm probably gonna die, but that's okay. Because the checkpoint is right there. Yeah. Eh, I died, yeah. No, that's okay. That's not a big deal. Because, yeah, checkpoint is right here, so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump to the flag. Probably die to it as well. <laughs> okay, it actually worked. So again, keep on rolling. There's gonna be a bunch of goobers coming out. They're really hyped to kill me, but um, I don't want none. Just get out of there. It's actually advantageous to not have a weapon here because the auto aim doesn't kick in. Usually, if there's there are enemies around, any kind of enemies around, Prince will target them. There's nothing you can do to stop that. Oh, yeah. Not even enemies. Like he hates pots too, so you'll target also them. As yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anything. There's well, just there basic hatred. There's <laughs> one way to combat it, and that's to don't play this game. <laughs> Basically. No, it's to uh, have your back to things will make him not react to them, usually. Yeah, but that's being serious and <laughs> rational, and that's not <laughs> what this game is, so... Right, so more archers. The archers are gonna come into play in a bit. They can be quite, quite annoying, actually, so uh, hopefully they are not, and there's like nothing I can do really about it. So that's gonna be a little trick here again that I'm probably gonna fail because I already failed the first one. Why would you fail it? Just can, can you stop wall jump. Stop hating yourself easy. so much. Well, <laughs> I know how practice went, so I'm just <laughs> being reasonable myself this time. Another little thing, like we just jump over this instead of taking the beam because the beam is slow. So basically, the premise of this game it's uh, it's a direct sequel to Warrior Within, the second game in the Sans trilogy. And uh, Prince's hometown is basically getting destroyed by his arch nemesis from the first game, the Sands of Time. And he comes back, and the Empress of Time, that you know, he that is basically his waifu. Um, <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> you know what it means. 
um, gets stolen away from him, basically, and killed in like the first 10 minutes of the game. Spoilers! Spoilers! Sorry. And he's basically trying to save the city and get revenge on Vizier. Who is that? Will we see him in this run? Uh, yeah, for like five seconds, if uh, if everything goes to plan, anyway. So this is a new mechanic in the two thrones, like this sliding thing. It will be pretty useful later on in the run. Right now it's just like default platforming, like I said. Here, when I jump down next to the archer, I don't want to roll, because if I roll for some reason, he's just gonna instantly shoot me off the ladder. So not rolling is good. He can also shoot me on this uh, railing there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's fine. Pretty close. Here I'm again gonna utilize the secondary attack off of the wall because it's faster by a like, couple frames. Get around these enemies and here I wanna do two steps and then jump otherwise I can actually get like pretty much st stunned on the beam by the arrows and would have to take a death and you know I already died once so let's not do that. Let's not do that. Oh, so scary <laughs> watching this every time. You know he's not gonna fuck it up but it's like every every jump the prince can have a will of his own and still not grab ledge even though you should. It's yeah the reason this game is so bad as a speedrun is that it's like super inconsistent like everywhere. For some reason, the game's engine is just weird. Like, they had a great engine in Mario Within. Well, great. Debatable, but somewhat of a good engine in Mario Within. And then Ubisoft was like, let's make a game that's more shit. So that's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, they made a lot of money. So much money that they decided to not continue the series. <laughs> Until 2K8. But let's not talk about 2K8. Great game. What is that? I have no idea. Also, I didn't mean to mm. jump back, but like, that's okay. Like, I just need to die, and Prince apparently was not willing to die, but that's okay. He's probably gonna die a lot this run. And now we got a weapon. Yeah, so the fish guard that we skipped uh, is now back. Uh, I basically had to die there to load it, otherwise the game would... Uh, what would the game do? I don't even know. It just Pressure on the dagger panels, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 up, yeah. up here there are panels where you're supposed to stick the weapon in them, but if you don't have one and stick it in there, well then you crash the game. I was gonna make an inappropriate joke, but let's <laughs> not do that. So here's the archers, uh, as I was saying. They're sticking their arrows in me right now. And uh, hopefully I don't get hit again because yeah, it just interrupts platforming. So another new mechanic are these panels. Uh, well, the panels where we stick the dagger, as Scribbon said. His words, not mine. Um, and there are also these panels that you can jump off of. And they're also super broken. Like sometimes they'll just not load and then you cannot jump off of them and die. It's a lot of fun. Uh, here I'm going to again utilize the secondary attack to survive a fall that normally wouldn't be possible to survive. And don't worry, if this, if this is like kind of boring, then it will get real crazy real fast. So here's an archer, I will say hi. And he says bye. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Some cool strats again coming up. Um, maybe, it depends on what this archer does. Or rather what Prince does. Again, a secondary attack to oh. auto-target him, get He's around good him. jump. Oh, or, or just get jump right yeah. away. Yeah, <laughs> got on top. Uh, sometimes Prince can auto-target the archer and that is not good. Or really good. <laughs> if you're lucky. Again, just keeping my rolls going. Uh, the faster way actually to move on flat ground is to side roll, which we're gonna utilize in a bit. But side rolls take a little bit of time to set up. because You know, we gotta stand sideways. Then block and keep on rolling in that direction. Also, this is Kylina, that's the waifu. One of the waifus, anyway, and yeah, just leave her be. Why don't you follow her? <laughs> yeah, you almost had her. <laughs> Ask Ubisoft. <not> Ubisoft. <laughs> Great game. Mm. Right, so it's actually worth to set up the side rolls here. There's some traps, but they're really slow. Prince is fast, so it's all good. There's more traps, and this trap is actually kind of dangerous. So I'm just like gonna take it safe and not side roll into it, because you can get stuck behind it and die, and that's not cool. I don't really know how these timings work for the traps. I just seen someone do this, so I want to make it look professional. Well, <laughs> it's because it works. It's, it's sort it's, of, yeah. It's uh, like proven to work every time. Scientifically. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for there. Thank you. Yeah. 
So, uh, I just broke the weapon rack and got myself a secondary. I picked it up while in a roll, so I didn't, uh, blah, blah, blah. I didn't get the animation of picking it up. This is also a new mechanic, like you can stick your dagger everywhere in this game, it's so good. Um, Pardon me? Except for in the waifus. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yeah, and, and now I have a secondary, and secondary is actually like one of the most important things in this game. It is the most important thing. Both casually and as a speedrun. Also, he's a cool quick kill, because quick time events are cool. But this archer is an asshole, so we just kill him. Also, you might notice that at the top left, there's something wrong with the UI, but again, don't ask me, ask Jordan Mechner, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you use glitches. Jordan, yeah. if you're in chat, please respond. <laughs> Alright, and this no dagger part is about to, to be over. There's gonna be a cutscene, so you can uh, read some. Okay, there's gonna be a cutscene in a bit. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah. Sub 10! So you can read Ooh. some donations now if you got any. Oh yeah, sub 10, easy! And I will. We have $10 from Anonymous, and this goes to follow to any percent haircut for Jack of Hearts. And I also want to mention one of our a partner's view Sonic Elite because you've wondered if this monitor will have 60 FPS and I can tell you this will have even more 144 hertz <laughs> from this monitor. I have VSync on fine. Well, actually, well, I think I have VSync in my graphics, so that should be fine. We're about to find out. Yeah. We're about to find out what I have to say. I have to say, View Sonic Elite provides all of the monitors for our runners, so thank you very much for that. Okay, so we're gonna get crazy here, and hopefully it works. Because if it doesn't, then we will get even further behind schedule. Looks good, I think. Yeah. I'm there. So it doesn't look very good. But no, no, the, the frame rate's good. Yeah, the FPS <laughs> is good. Yeah. The frame rate's good. I was nervous. So basically, Toka, please explain the zipping. Thank is you. Is this a tradition where ev yeah. for every zip run I yeah. <laughs> explain it? Okay. Do it. So the idea of zipping is that you overlight, over, over, overload the rewind mechanic. So by spamming inputs, here done by spamming. Um, the like inputs with a mouse wheel. Yeah. Um, the other actions followed up will be amplified in magnitude or in distance or whatever they do. So here the backflip becomes a really long backflip. And um, <laughs> why am I? That's weird. Okay, Should that's I start like again? When we have some time. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. So the basic idea is. <laughs> Go on, please. <laughs> you overload the rewind. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> can you even do this? No. <laughs> this is um, uh, basically. So, I'm gonna try to get this, and then we can try to. Okay, never mind. I don't actually need this end, so I can rewind and try again. But this is really weird. Like, I'm actually, have you have you done a drop glitch in the intro already? Like in the dagger? Mm. No. no. Okay. But hold on. Let me uh, just like concentrate on this a little bit. Yes. What did he auto target? <laughs> actually, actually, yeah, I need to kill myself <laughs> one more time. Okay, this is starting really great. I have no idea what uh, is actually happening with the drop glitch, but basically in this game, one of the reasons why the secondary is so important is that if you throw a weapon um, and you start falling down and you're still like holding the weapon throw, you're not gonna take any fall damage and you can use that while zipping while accelerating through the walls, and then you see me falling down, and if I keep on holding my weapon, it's basically not gonna calculate fall damage. Until I throw it. Yeah, exactly. So yes. what happened to you, the weapon was thrown um, too, too early. early. Yes. But if you do it too late, you will lose the weapon. Unless you do some elaborate things that are like meshing space bar. Okay. work again. That was so weird. All around me are familiar <laughs> faces. That's fourth. Yeah, that's cool. Whoa, also, no. this cutscene is really good, but you can't skip it. It really is convenient. Most of the cutscenes you can skip, so if you fail most stuff, like, we'll be able to skip it. Don't worry about it. Wherever you are. Yeah. Wherever we are. So don't worry, chat. It's not like this entire run has sips, and he has to do a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's just this one. This is 
Is it working incorrectly? Like, I'm actually really confused. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Well, you're going the right distance. So yeah, frame the distance is definitely correct. So they should be right frame rates, so it shouldn't be anything weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll play very close and see if I can see anything weird. Because th th this game has a lot of problems with, this, with like running it on different monitors and different setups. So it, it, there is a chance that something is wrong. But I'm probably just garbage. But there is that possibility. There you go. Okay, we got it. Yay! First try. Let's go. Well, if this is a sign of things to come, then we will probably mercy kill. Alright, so this is the drop glitch without it being in a zip, right? And as you can see, I, I survived a fall I normally wouldn't, su wouldn't survive. Okay, the zip is a little bit more elaborate, but it doesn't have a drop glitch. Actually, uh, let me slightly rename this. And this is basically the, like, the craziness that can happen when you're zipping. Because like the only limitations are low triggers and we know where they are. And rewind time. Yeah, and rewind time. Alright, alright. Okay. Oh, looks good? Should be fine. Beautiful. Okay. Here's a really nice example of a zip where I really see how a zip works. Because for this jump slash attack, like you go up and then you go down. And when you zip and it, you, you know, it's reversed and amplified. And okay. For this one, you go down to hit the load trigger, and then you go up again. This is why this action here is really convenient. Oh no, another, another one. Another one. There we go. Easy. Wow, okay. Beautiful. Four done, 40 to go. <laughs> More like 300. <laughs> no, I, I just did it, so uh, I had a little bit of a challenge at the start. So now I, I have pushed to play better. Because that's totally what's going to happen. Yes. Okay. That's not where I wanted to drop glitch, but sure. Also, another great thing is that, like, they give you the opportunity to pull out your weapons so that I can, like, throw them and do the drop glitches. But for some reason, Prince will, like, after two seconds, just put them away again. So basically, when you want a drop glitch or anything, use your weapons for anything, you pretty much want to uh, do it really fast or just keep on blocking so he doesn't put the weapons away. So there's like more drop glitches. And this is a setup to get into position. And more drop glitch zips. But this one should be free. Learn. Case in point. Me, I need to see a little bit closer <laughs> here. It's, it's very dark. Yes. And it will be even darker later. So the good thing is that like, this game has first person mode, which is like super convenient. Where did I just land? Just, just drop down and then you can zip up. Well, actually, I'm not exactly sure where I am. So you're at the at the low trigger, so that's straight up here. Just yep. jump up here and zip, yep. and you'll be, be where you continue. Yeah, and so one thing we haven't talked about are the vertical zips. So you actually need to cancel your vertical zip at the peak, otherwise you're gonna take fall damage and die, which is not good. And what I did there is I canceled the vertical zip too early. So what happens was I, I landed on the bottom platform, even though I wanted to go to the top. Uh, sometimes your camera is this close, so then you can actually see the jump in the zip and cancel it properly. But most of the time you don't actually see the jump and you need to do it just by heart. Because right. if you saw there, like the screen like went up and down, exactly, that's basically yeah. when you're jumping. But since you're jumping so high, the screen will turn even more. So that's how you know when to, to cancel, to not die. But the uh, sips with the with fall damage is very weird. Like there's a lot of different methods you have to use throughout the run to uh, like uh, condition the the place you are and where you want to go, so you don't die to fall damage. So there are some traps, but if you go fast, they don't hit you. Right, this zip is kind of important because it can crash the game, so that would not be cool. Uh, also. 
Okay, hold on. Let me do the zip first. Yeah. yet this is a really hard drop glitch but it's also easy <laughs> <laughs> just like the rest of this game so here's a let's talk about the the red guard i guess first um so that was red guard uh it's a guy that i have to kill because he drops a sword and the sword uh regenerates your sand every two seconds right yes yeah. but you said fighting was you why would you fight well, him? Well, to get his sword, obviously. No, <laughs> no but like, um, as you can see on the top left, there's like the sand counter. I have four of them right now. You use them to rebind, mm -hmm. aka to glitch. It was a nice jump, which I didn't zip. I will simply have to resort to a more traditional. But yeah, so uh, normally you would have to like destroy the furniture and whatnot to uh, regain the, the sand. But with the red guard sword. I will regain it automatically every two seconds. Casually, the sword is kind of crap because it has zero durability, so you cannot really use it. And like yeah. I said, in combat, the secondary is super important. Like you saw me use the secondary in that fight and pretty much demolish them pretty fast with just like two attacks on each. So right now there's a side roll zip and then a parry. Basically, every single input gives you different distance. So the way this is routed is... Uh, to match the stuff that you need to match. And here's an auto scroll because why not? So one thing I also want to mention that's terrible about this game, that's an absolute downgrade and Ubisoft should go to hell for this because <laughs> Whoa. what they did is uh, they added negative mouse acceleration. If you don't know what that is, that means if I'm moving my mouse very slowly, it's not gonna move um, the camera at all. So don't worry about this. Just the earth is flat and that was the end of the world. Never mind. Um, so if I move my mouse very slightly, it's actually not going to move it at all in-game. And if I move it fast, it's going to slow down instead of uh, like speeding up if you had uh, positive mouse acceleration. So it's really hard to, when you use the first person mode, to kind of line up some stuff for zips and whatnot. It is really hard to aim precisely. So sometimes you might see me just like uh, looking in the first person mode for a little bit of time, for like maybe, I don't know, 5-10 seconds, trying to get the correct aim. Because it's actually pretty difficult to control this game. Yeah, maybe a word about this, why the aim is so important. The precise point where the um, rewind memory is overloaded, um, the, the aim you have at that point in time is the aim your zips, your zip will go, like the directions yeah. will go relative to which. And that's why, for example, the um, there's a thing called um, block steps in this game, or block inputs. Um, which are useful because they don't um, change your, the angle you're looking in, um, as opposed to the usual steps, like the if you bind, bind mouse wheel to, to walking forward, then you will go forward relative to your, like the outside, the overall camera. But if with, a, with the block steps, you preserve the aim unless there's some furniture or something which um, prints auto targets because he hates wooden chairs. <laughs> Also, the, the triggers in this game are very precise and super finicky to hit, so a lot of the zips will look super weird, and technically you wouldn't need to do them that weird, but since the triggers are small, we have to improvise in some places to do very, very weird zips. Yeah, also you're zipping pretty far, so that's another reason why the zips are so precise, because you're just going really far away. Alright, more zips, hopefully this one works. Or not. Yeah, also, um, because we mentioned or the frame yes. rate. What? <laughs> nice. Dude. Safe. No, Come because, because uh, why we mentioned the frame rate earlier, the distance uh, an action goes when zipped depends on the frame rate, which is why, like all the zips you're currently seeing are routed for 60 FPS, which is also the, the rule for um, the Sense Trilogy games, just to keep it fair and consistent. So if this was an actual 144 hertz monitor and the setting would be 144 fps, um, everything would break down, Basically, including yeah. Kata. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would break down even without 144 <laughs> fps, but that's okay. Because then the sips would go twice as far, which would uh, miss everything and it would land in a black void. Yeah. 
It also means if you don't have 60 FPS, like if you're lower than that, if you have frame drops or your game doesn't run stable or so, um, you'll also have a hard time, uh, especially for precise sips, of course. Also, there is a like a second form of the prints in this game, just like in Mario Within. In this in this game, it's called Dark Prince. It's like his evil uh, evil mind, evil second self. But hopefully, if stuff goes well, which is debatable and questionable, um, we will not be seeing him at all um, until the very end of the game. Nice camera. What is happening? Also, if anyone has played this game before and is confused why the prince is still wearing clothes, it's because if you skip the sewers, you never lose your shirt, so you will keep the shirt for the entire run. If all goes to plan. <laughs> yes, if all goes to plan, you will keep the shirt for the entire run, even though he's technically supposed to lose the shirt very early on in the run. Because he's just an exhibitionist in every game. <laughs> yeah. Alright, coming up is like the hardest, one of the hardest parts of the game. So I hope it goes well to at least contradict the beginning a little bit. Which was, uh, yeah, I don't even know what happened at the start, I don't remember. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So basically, there's gonna be a big arena coming up. And in the arena, there's a boss, but fighting is slow. So we're not gonna fight. Hopefully. <laughs> I didn't have to fight in practice. I've I've messed up a lot of times here, but I never had to fight. So, well, we'll have to see. I'll have to position myself right here. And again. this is the hardest part of the game. So if everyone in chat can raise their hands and give him your energy, that'd be great. Or don't. That's fine too. <laughs> Now we should get back to the top and be alive. Yes. Okay, that good. was really close, but it worked. First part done. One out of three. Yeah. One out of three. So this will look like a zip, but this is just a setup for a zip. Now I have to do like some precise aiming again. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Like I'm, I cannot do small movements with the camera because this yeah. game is just great. It's a very precise zip that sometimes will just not work because it's forehead. But this time it did. Got it, nice. Okay. okay. The last act. Here I have to like go to the edge because there's a trigger there. Oh, so that didn't zip properly. So I was one input too short here, basically. So I zipped, but I didn't get full distance. That means I was one input too short of overloading the memory. Yeah, so the overload happened during the first, like the actual roll, which you wanted to have zipped. Yeah, I want that already accelerated. Yeah. Okay, so here's another trigger. Here's a checkpoint that we will take for safety, because this run is uh, going great. And if you don't hit the chain, you have to reset the run. Another drop zip. It's actually like it's actually like pretty hard to uh, chain like anything out of uh, throwing the weapon. It's it's kind of hard to time. You really have to get uh, get it down. So there's like an LED light that's telling me that there's some donations. So please read some. Thank you. And there they are. But uh, before that, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor Twitch, which. Uh, we couldn't live without because you're probably watching it on uh, this platform so thank you very much remember that every sub and every cheer you get uh, to our channel we will uh, direct to our foundation Alzheimer's foundation so make sure to use those prime subs uh, and go into donations we have $15 donation from Ananas saying not going to have time to watch the entire run, but had to stay up for at least a bit of the series that we ate a whole lot of time when I was younger. Good luck, Catalysts, and let's hope the later Zips treat you well. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And also $5 from Capitaine, and 
Before that, let me channel the channel the uh, Twitch chat for that. Kata, when is Dark Souls 2 all achievements? <laughs> <laughs> There's no escape. There's no escape. Oh Suit. <laughs> TM. So there's a little bit of running here. Um, those zips that I just did, those were not very hard, but I still managed to mess them up, because why not? Um, you also saw me like backtrack to the doors a little bit. There's a low trigger there, which is pretty much impossible to hit during the zip. So we just go back and hit it. Low jump here to skip a little bit of platforming. What is a dahaka? What is this girl talking about? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, Let not, me like in this, on the lore. not like this game makes any sense to begin with. <laughs> you can also see, like, List have left his left hand, and I guess right hand, are kind of messed up. That's because uh, of the second form. So can I aim here? Thank you. So here I'm going to use the weapon throw actually as a... Uh, to gain some distance instead of using it as a drop glitch. It's too far? Nah, perfect. So here I have to kill myself, not because the run is so bad, but because I need to load the next area. And this is exactly like what Toka was talking about. I just have to break that furniture, otherwise Prince will auto-aim it, and that's not cool. So again, some first-person aiming, actually... Uh, this way. This zip is kind of weird, like... Uh, the, another thing is that like uh, any little change in a zip will make it very very different. So I can, for example, start making the overload inputs a little bit sooner. Uh, okay, I will have to kill some dogs, but yeah. that's okay. So I can basically uh, do it a little bit sooner, and then I will unfortunately like cancel. Can you? <laughs> what the hell? Dude, he's a beast at dodging. Then uh, I will like kind of cancel the backflip, for example, and when that happens, I will get less distance, and that can completely mess up a zip. So we have to kill these poor dogs. They like suck your sand and stuff. Or actually, five. Never mind. They like suck your sand and stuff. But considering you know we have the foul points, we have the red guard sword. That is not really a big deal because we will just replenish the, the sands immediately. So again, just the wall run to get into position. And then double jump, backflip, overload memory, rewind. And again, releasing at the right time, otherwise I will take full damage. This area is loaded, which is good, that means I did the setup correctly. Again, go back on the ledge to load the next area. Gonna open these doors. Is that like the first door you open the whole run? Second. I no, think. he Second. opened one in the okay. s after sewers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, for example, here the the not cancelling the parry is very important. Otherwise, you will just slightly not go far enough, and then you will not reach that ledge. So, coming up is another new trick. Uh, it's the wall run extension. So, if I basically wall run and then slash my dagger and rewinds it. Increases its length. Yeah, the warrant continues yeah. essentially. Which is pretty neat in, uh, in one more place. Uh, if you got any donations, please hit us up. I do want to mention one of our sponsors or partners, the Yeti. Uh, the Yeti uh, has a special offer for t shirts at ESA. If you go to www.deady.com slash ESA, and that is T-H-E-Y-E-T-E-E, -E -E, you can get one of our t-shirts specially designed for this event. And every $5 per t-shirt and every $4 per pin goes directly to our charity. So make sure to check those out. All right, we're actually going to see the final boss now. But it doesn't mean that the run is over. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, so it, is is it is if you wanted to. Okay, <laughs> how far behind are we? Let's <laughs> kill it 30 minutes here. So I actually got hit, so I need to... Uh, by the dog, so I need to heal here. Yeah, the button for the, uh, for the block inputs is the so-called special action button, which has uh, a bunch of features. One of them is drinking 
if you don't have full health. Yes. Stay hydrated, kids. Don't forget. Hey, I'm opening a third door. And coming up is like an insane zip. So hopefully I get it first try. Which I won't, but man can dream. He fancied himself a god. The question now is whether the prince realized the position he was in. Now we'll run to hit a trigger. Then we're gonna rewind back and do the overload now. Hopefully that was enough inputs. Yeah. Nice. So let's hope it all worked out. This should be fine. I will survive. <laughs> hit the panel, okay. Dude, nice. So now the big question is, is the next area loaded? Because if it is, then cool. Then it's really nice. Yeah, yes. then I got one of the hardest zips. First try. Meanwhile, the first zip, fifth try. Okay. Easy, Woo! easy. nice. So again, there's like some platforming here, but you can like just do what you want. Because some areas are not designed too well and you can find cool little shortcuts. Which is super good for something like no major glitches, where this glitch, among others, is banned or are banned. And um, uh, the movement is like the main driving force of that category. And there's a lot of it still. Drop glitch, cheers. Among a bunch of cool skips, I want to mention that. No <laughs> major glitches is not just casual gameplay. I mean. Stop. <laughs> Arguable. <laughs> Okay, I will not say anything. So here I have to hit a hit a trigger, so hopefully okay, I need to no. jump. I might hit a little cutscene here. No cutscene. Yeah, no cutscene, trigger should be hit. So what I did there is I cancelled the zip too early so I didn't get the jump yeah. after the two parries. So I went through the wall, but that was it. And like I said, like every single action gives you different distance. So these are perfectly prepared setups to get me the correct uh, amount of distance. Uh, where did I land? Okay, I landed. You landed in right space. Yeah. So good. Here again, I need to touch this ledge because there's a trigger there that loads the next area. Step into it. Yeah, that's another use of the block steps I don't think I explained yet. So if you do the, the normal steps to overload, which works just fine, the um, problem is every of these little steps, uh, when, you, when they're zipped, they give you a tiny bit of distance. And in particular for the very precise zips, um, these kind of, these kind of yeah, changes in distance um, are crucial to the zip and decide if it, if it works or not. Yeah, so that's why like, blocking is the best thing to do. To overload the memory with because you just don't move. Yeah, so your position is the same and the, your aim stays the same. Yeah. That's all that determines the zip essentially. Yeah, and then like I, I do some steps afterwards because they're a little bit faster than blocking. Or technically they're not, but you cannot rewind immediately if you just do the block overloads for some reason. Yeah, because the game wants to do this, uh, these kind of special attacks where if you, if you block an attack, you can do some kind of explosion or whatever. Which we don't have unlocked, but the game still you wants to do it. Yeah, rewind is not first priority. But I do the steps, uh, and I don't do so many of them that they overload the memory. But I do just enough of them that it gets to the blocking, and the blocking is actually the thing that overloads the memory. Yeah. So here I actually do a deliberate cancel of the roll because if I got full distance from the roll, I would go too far. So I cancel the animation, and I get perfect land. Dude, except for the start, this has been going okay. Actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. But that's gonna change because now there's walking zips, which are inconsistent. This is not a really cool zip where you can see everything loading and deloading. Ooh, that was close. Uh, those calculators is what I like to say. <laughs> so this again looks like a zip already, but it's just a setup to get into the correct position and get the correct angle. And the zip is actually here. Now you need the correct angle and everything to hit the according triggers, obviously. Okay. Now a little bit of backtracking to hit a trigger here. And coming up is a zip that's like not very hard, but super important because if I mess it up, I can crash the game again. 
well, again, like it's another one of those where you can crash the game. So when I do the jump, zip, uh, the jump sword slash, I need to delay the slash a lot so I get more height and I don't hit doors, like these doors I'm gonna land next to. Because if I do hit them, then the game crashes. So I need to like zip above them basically. Yeah, again, the, the idea of the jump slash is that the jump gets you up, the slash gets you down. The, the point in time where you do the slash essentially cancels the jump in a way. So, the, yeah, the slash timing determines if you stay the same height or you gain a bit. Or if this was sense of time, then you can also lose a bit of height and go down a bit. Um, which is not really possible in this game. And if it is, Vinny will um, have wrote it in chat by now. <laughs> and corrected my foolishness. I mean, he plays this game voluntarily, so oh. he is the one <laughs> foolish. <laughs> Just say. You can go down with them, but you can't cancel fall damage with yeah. them. So, right, yeah. so yeah. going down with them will kill you. Right, yeah. So Are you Vanille? <laughs> <laughs> In no. disguise? You? No. Okay, so this is another one of those really hard zips, for some reason, because they're inconsistent. Like, this entire area is, like, maybe the second hardest after arena. So hopefully it, it goes okay. And no. it didn't. I cannot save this, I think, so I'll have to wait for a game over. Yeah, I have to wait for a game over. I have no idea what actually went wrong there, because I did the setup correctly. It's just the game being the game. Uh, he, la he landed in the right spot as well. It's just he, like I mentioned earlier, the triggers are very small and super annoying sometimes. So just being, like, one pixel off or something will, like make you miss <laughs> you don't know what you did wrong basically exactly and it's like side rolls which we used to go sideways in the zip uh, are kind of inconsistent as well like they can give you different distance depending on how the game feels so let's just try this again well done prince your inaction has allowed them to call reinforcements There we go. There we go. Nice. Got the jump. That mm. was not close. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna survive because, like, if if I wasn't gonna survive, he wouldn't grab the ledge, basically. Yeah. So even if I landed next there, I would have survived and just zipped up. Anyway, uh, there's one more zip that's kind of difficult. This one, for some reason, I have no idea why it's so hard, but it is. Because it's basically the same as the very first one. You failed five times. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. <laughs> Why are you even doing this whole area? Like, in, in principle, this area goes in circles. Like, can you just take a shortcut? I don't know this game, don't question it. So I landed out of bounds for some reason. That's what happened in practice. I think I should be able to salvage this. Okay, we're yes, back here. We're back. So now you sip on nothing. Yeah, now we are just... So for some reason in this game, uh, some areas are deload and they're still there, and others are not. And don't ask why. It's just how it is. Try this again. Not sure if the angle is correct because I cannot actually see any line up here. Okay, I landed too far right. Yeah, it's so just let's, um, let's try this again. Very tinyly off. I cannot really see anything. Yeah, let's try it from here. Yeah, the D low doesn't make it better. <laughs> Camera switched! Well, I threw the weapon, and the weapon is gone again. Okay, let's, let's get back the weapon. And stand, like, here. Backflip, kick, overload, land in bounds, continue with the run. Sounds good. Yeah, nice. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that platform wasn't fully, like, loaded there because... You were landing on the side and it still went through. It's very unfortunate. Attempt number 600. Okay, that Roundhog that, day. That didn't zip properly again. So like, I was one, pit, one input off. Overloading. It's like the classic Prince of Persia snowball that happens a lot. It's like you miss a zip and then it just goes to hell. With this game, it goes to hell as soon as you turn it on. <laughs> Not true. Actually, I think I hit the ledge behind me. I might not get enough distance. Oh, never mind. 
Yeah, I hit the ledge behind me, so I wasn't. Weapon, dude, you weapon. have to. Yeah, good thing. Get the weapon back, <laughs> please. Okay, cancel it with jumping. No big deal. Okay, let's try this again. I'll try to do the setup ish. Like you aim somewhere, like that. It's really frustrating because I I have no idea why I missed the area several times because the aim and everything was 100% correct. Okay. Mm. Easy. Well, we'll we'll take it. <laughs> Just a little example of how great this game actually is. It's a wall run here. You can see me hitting loading trigger. And oh no, this will be a boss fight. Monka S. Boss. Boss fight? Fight. <laughs> I don't see a health bar. Well, because it's a cutscene, mate. Come on. <laughs> I actually don't know how to fight him properly. I forgot. So I'm just going to do something. And that didn't work. Can you stop jumping, mate? I would appreciate your cooperation. Okay, there we go. Well, that was uh, cool. So, now we get into an auto scroller. So, yeah. From a boss fight into an auto scroller. Oh, yeah, it's Chariot it? again. Yeah, it's basically Chariot. So, one thing that's cool about this, and Eraser will be very happy that I mention it, is the fact that I actually have to run into the wall here once. Because for some reason, if you do this area perfectly, the game's just gonna slow you down, and it's gonna slow you down like insanely. So you're gonna lose a lot of time if you don't hit the wall. These hits are not necessary, those are just because I suck. But <laughs> the first one, that was actually like necessary to do. To answer the question I raised like two minutes ago, so we are, this is where we went in circles. Like left up is where we were like, I don't know, three or four minutes ago. And this area here is loaded, Fountain. aside from the fountain. Yeah, the fountain is there. But you can't drink from it, and I cry myself to sleep every night thinking about it. <laughs> like th this is probably the biggest, big skip potential this game has, but it it just doesn't work. So we are doing normal roll roll because I need more distance. Like for example, if I if I if I'm blocking and I roll. Uh, it has way less distance than uh, a proper roll. So here I have to backtrack to load the next area. There we go. Hit and the load, but not the cutscene. Yeah, exactly. That's why I went really slow. And I'm also gonna like rewind all the way to this ledge because that way I'm not gonna spawn the enemies, which would be annoying. I would have to fight them again. And as you've seen, like the fighting in this game is kind of jank for some reason. Like while you're within fighting is. Also similar, jank. but it's just it feels a lot better. It, you don't get as stuck on objects and whatnot. So this is a very simple block roll. So just get to this platform, get stuck in this corner. Now some aim time again. That was actually good, I think. Who knows? We'll find out. And here I do a parry in the other direction because a backflip kick would take me too far back. So I'm gonna go yeah, forwards kinda and then error correct backwards. that with a parry. Yeah, exactly. We loaded everything, that's good, otherwise falling here would kill me. Uh, cool camera, because why not? You're never supposed to be down here, by the way, I'm just pointing that out. Well, you're never supposed to be playing the game in the first place. <laughs> just to say. Your point. So yeah, I uh, just, a, just a little addition. When I submitted this game, it was only because it was like I had one more slot for submitting something. So I was like, okay, let's submit Prince of Persia. So I looked at what games were already submitted. And someone already submitted Sands of Time from the community. So I was like, cool. Someone submitted Warrior Within from the community. Yeah. So I was like, cool. That was both me, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think Grizz as well. And then I was like, okay, so no one submitted Two Thrones. So let's just submit Two Thrones for Shits and Giggles. And I said, please accept this if you want more, more Prince of Persia. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want me to lose my sanity, and not in a good way. And yeah, here we are, the only Prince of Persia game at the marathon. Um, the inputs here are uh, kind of hard to do because the game just sucks. You also forgot to tell them about the only other trick basically in the entire run, which is the ledge uh, swing cancel you did before. Oh right, yeah. So I basically, when I get on the, on the little pole, as soon as I get on it, I'm in, in like that small swinging animation. If I let go of the pole, 
that didn't work. If I let go of the pole uh, immediately, I'm basically like uh, not gonna. I'm gonna take less fall damage or not less fall damage. I'm gonna. You can fall a bit more before yeah, exactly. dying. Yeah. The nice. same idea as the safety fall, at least from the effect side away. Yeah. I should hopefully wait. So this is kind of weird because I have to readjust the zip. Are you serious? So I didn't zip this properly. Um, I have to readjust the aim mid-zip, which is kind of weird. And then I have to roll out of that first-person camera, which the game doesn't really like. Okay, let's do as many inputs as we can. That should be fine, hopefully. There One, two, three. Hit the triggers as well. Okay, nice. That's fire. Is this Tom Ford that was just <laughs> showed? Or showed? But the prince isn't burning and screaming. Ha! 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 Alright, so here we get into the chariot, because that makes sense. And this is a perfect time for some donations, if you've got any. Just, just one quick comment, this uh, little parry zip um, skips a puzzle which takes like three minutes. Yeah, just one super small zip that's easy to do. When yeah. yeah, big time save. Right, go ahead please. And I will go ahead. We have a $5 donation from Smathlax saying <laughs> Prince of Persia 2008 is the best game in the world. Don't add me. And to distract anyone from actually adding you, uh, I have to say that uh, those that this donation went for The Last of Us, new game, granted glitchless, left behind any percent. Uh, because, as I said, uh, this is an additional donation from The Last of Us game. Uh, if, if we get it met in like two hours, uh, the runner will also play Left Behind DLC instead of playing only any percent. Uh, and uh, we have like 300-ish dollars to go, so be sure to uh, donate for that. And we also have 20 dollars from Grisper saying, glad to see the quote-unquote best Prince of Persia shown off at ESA. Good luck, Kata. Yeah, thank you for the donations, guys. Also, you can also donate like a car, we will sell it. And then we will put it <laughs> towards the charity. What? <laughs> I just, just say, just randomly, no reason at all to bring up cars. Um, yeah, so this basically is just the longest chariot ride. It's the last one as well, uh, luckily, because that means we're closer to the end of the run, which is always good with this game. Fun fact: You can actually zip this whole chariot ride. Like you don't have to ride the chariot, but doing this uh, in zips is uh, slower actually. Cherry is just too fast. Yeah, it's like these areas are insanely big. So uh, you need to do so many zips to get through them basically. Yeah. And hit like 5 million low triggers. So. Exactly, yeah. It, it's just like in terms of time. If you take Mega Freeze, you lose 8 minutes. Pardon me? <laughs> wow. Okay, so these are the twins. Uh, it's a pretty hard fight. I remember when I was a kid, I was having a really hard time. I would probably have a really hard time even now, because I still suck. But luckily, there's a way to get out of bounds here and uh, skip them. There's also a way to crash the game, so hopefully... Let's hope for the game crash. <laughs> I mean, what did I say? What? You got hit. Are you even trying? Are you, are you even run. trying to win? Alright, but I, I'm not actually sure if this is enough inputs to overload uh, memory. Uh, oh, oh, nice, okay. nice. It's really good. Where am I? Uh, okay, right here. right here. So now we're out of bounds, as you can see. We're below the arena. Uh, they're really trying to get us. I appreciate their efforts. I have to get to this place, then aim towards this direction, and then hopefully get a backflip, and now not mess it up. Actually, the map change trigger is also right there, so you could just go there and change the map manually in a way. But there is a reason we want to um, zip here, actually. Yeah, so we can crash the game. <laughs> I thought it was about, you know, keeping a weapon, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> yeah, this is what we want, these dark print sections, if you change them manually, like via the trigger? map trigger. I don't Okay, that's fine. So you can see the next area is deloaded. I'll backtrack right here, and it's gonna be loaded. And not rewind back up. No, why? <laughs> I have only four cents, mate. <laughs> <laughs> totally don't have an OP sword. But honestly, the fact that I haven't lost the sword yet, even though we were close, is pretty big success. So I'm yeah, kind of close to the cutscene there, so I don't want to hit it. Nice. 
Nice. Good, insane. How am I? Is that there's a cutscene there, right? Yes. How am I not hitting it? S like slightly further into the room. No, I don't wanna. <laughs> so what I did there is I, I delayed the sword slash while midair too much, and the game put me too high, and I died out of full damage. This time I didn't delay the slash as much, and I landed perfectly on the platform. And here's a giant elevator, but as is usual with elevators in the Sans trilogy, we <laughs> don't really take it. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so we go really high up, and then fail. Okay, can I get this last jump? Oh. I'm dead. Rewind tricky. You got this. One, two, three. Yes. Got it. Easy, Easy save. <laughs> Easy <laughs> save. Claps for that one. So would you explain what the rewind trick is? So basically, uh, it's part from sipping with rewinds. If you rewind the same action twice at the exact same f like couple of frames, it will uh, repeat and cancel fall damage. So if you die from fall damage, you can repeat the falling animation twice to basically reset where the prince is in height, which will then cancel out all fall damage. This death was actually mandatory for once. It was not a mistake. Uh, the next area wouldn't be loaded if I, didn't, if I hadn't done that. That was, a, that was a really good salvage, actually. I, I'm really happy about that. Yeah. yeah. Actually, rewind tricks are a bit more, more elaborate than that, and they have a lot more uses as well, but uh, they're not really covered in this run because zips are Too faster OP. than everything. Yeah. yeah. That's also why a zipless category exists. Just want to point that out. No. <laughs> I don't want to point that out. Good. So here is something really cool. We're gonna hit a teleport trigger. I hope it goes well. The game's gonna fade to black. Yep. Yes. And now we're gonna rewind fully twice to hopefully get back to the initial location. And now we're gonna get teleported to the next area because Lamo. How did you know? <laughs> Play this game once or twice, even though it might not look like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladder wall run extension. Those are really easy. You just literally keep on slashing a weapon and then rewind to some point. Yeah, exactly. And keep on slashing. Yeah. It's so easy. Okay, this zip is super cool. So we're gonna zip this animation, and it perfectly is gonna get us to the to the next area. Hopefully, if I zip this. Yeah, this is also one of the really intuitive zips because you're sliding down, and when you zip, you go down, like a lot further down. No this really gi gives you the idea of amplification that zips carry, really. Yeah. Like we mentioned earlier, zipping down usually ends in dying, but since the slide is like a state of Prince not being in full damage, the, the down slide will not kill you unless you fuck it up. <gasps> Banned. So that death was also mandatory. Also, I didn't hit the trigger for some reason. This death was also mandatory. Totally didn't mess that up. <laughs> mm, this is like one of the things where I probably cancelled something while setting up the zip, but I have actually no idea what. Like, I just blocked a little bit too early or something. I have no clue. So, throw the weapon. Side roll. Lock roll. Zip it, and hopefully it's going to work this time. You can pray. No, it's good. It did, okay. Well, I was close, but it worked nice. Nah, that, that's usually how it is. Another drop cleave zip. I really don't understand what I was doing on the first zip. <laughs> it's like, these are pretty easy. Well, the first one is the hardest one. You have to drop the furthest on that one, but yes. Usually these traps are active, by the way. I just want to point that out. We are what just cheating. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Why would they be active? <laughs> It's such an old place. <laughs> Who could possibly have turned them on? Well, load triggers, obviously. <laughs> so in that room is uh, Dad. He's sadly, Dad. <laughs> sadly dead. But uh, dead. <laughs> dead. Yeah, and you're supposed to get his sword there. But that's slow because there's a huge, huge cutscene, or rather, a long, long cutscene. So we don't want to get his sword, but his sword like emits a lot of light. And you're supposed to have that sword. Nice fountain. Um, nice. You're supposed to have that sword. Stop <laughs> bullying me. You're supposed to have the sword here so you can actually see something. And hopefully we don't get lost. Like Wynive. <laughs> and lose two minutes. 
No, so this corridor is kind of easy to navigate. It's just a U shape. So if we follow the walls, we get to the correct position. And here I'm going to do a little bit of a setup to uh, get to the correct position for the next zip, which is kind of difficult as well, the, the zip itself. So hopefully I can get it. It's another instance where you zip walking. Like, walking backwards um, also counts as an input, of course, which gets amplified, but it's not quantized. Like, it's not one parry or one sword slit, it's you walk backwards for a bit. So for that one, you re really have to get a feeling uh, on how long to walk before doing the next input, yep. next action. So I'm going to have to uh, kill myself again here to load the next area, and there's going to be like a kind of hard zip to, to do which sometimes doesn't work. So I'm going to try to get it, and in the meanwhile, we can read a donation or two. <laughs> or not, that's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> we will, we will. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, we have $20 from Vai Gadeomes243. Uh, sorry for butchering that. Uh, hi, thank you all for these amazing runs, and I hope everyone enjoys the event. We have also five dollars from Das Pani saying Farah, best character ever. <laughs> All no. right. We haven't talked about her. Where's she been? All right, she's been around for two seconds, I think. In a box, and then we left her there. Is that first <laughs> try? Dude, easy, nice. I, I, oh. Okay. I, <laughs> oh. I, I, oh. 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 This can be salvaged. I've done this yes, before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not like that, though. That's fine. <laughs> we will salvage this. Don't. Oh, did you be? Go back. <laughs> No, Prince! Okay, we'll rewind a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Not like that. Please get unstuck. Good. Good. Maybe I can wall run. Let's try that, actually. Yeah, wall running might work. Oh, nice. Easy. Okay, there we go. Wow. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can read out some uh, more donations, like two. And I will. We have five dollars from Carly Jefferson saying, "Only been a member for a week, but the Prince of Persia speedrunning Discord is the friendliest group of people ever. Thank you guys and good luck." And we also have one hundred dollar donation from Joypunk saying, "Did you say The Last of Us DLC? Let's make it happen. One of my favorite games of all time." Nice save, nice yeah, save. Yeah, just really on the last sand. Yeah, like, why not? Like, that was totally not Monk Omega. <laughs> <laughs> also, nice Twitch speak. Like, I'm normally not like this. I mean, you normally don't play T2T as well. So That's uh, true, yeah. Honestly, to be, like, completely honest with you guys, I've spent about 24 hours on this game in the past two days. <laughs> and that's because before yesterday, I haven't played this game for about a year and a half. So, uh, actually, no, was it two and a half years? Yeah, it was both Yeah, same. so I had to de-rust pretty hard, and... Um, it it's, paid off. It's, it's, yeah, totally <laughs> paid off. Nice bully. <laughs> First you unmod me, and then you bully me. <laughs> I have not forgotten. All right, I missed that zip for some reason, but uh, I will not miss it again. Oh, that's fine. I need to do a double jump now from here. Because I landed on a lower platform. But that should be fine. Also, we should uh, probably oh do a, a shout out to uh, the other people who's been part in, in routing this run, besides Kata, myself, and Toka here. Uh, uh, not really. Wow. <laughs> Wynive, uh, current world record holder, has also done a lot of routing for this game, together with Drunken Shoe and Epic Dude Guy. I. Is there anyone else who's done like a really big contribution? I don't think so. Why is it not zipping? Like, hello? But we should, huge thank you to those people as well for helping with a lot of the routing. Yeah, definitely. Like, honestly, all of the Prince of Persia games have been routed collectively and there's so many people helping out. And even like, you know, crap games like 2K8 are turning into <laughs> like decent speed <laughs> games some way, somehow, because people just find stuff and that's super cool. I'm like very happy with uh, how the Prince of Persia community is treating the games, except for T2T, that should just go to hell. Um, right, so we zip through here. We are inbounds, don't worry about it. Oh, I was nice. just camera glitching out. Okay, that zip took way longer than it should have for some reason. Totally nothing to do with my skill. The troller also has a chance to crash the game, doesn't it? No, the next one. Oh, the next one. Well, not this one, but like the one after this. Yeah, yeah no, no. 
but hopefully it doesn't. The fact that this game hasn't crashed yet is a big success. Yeah, that's actually true. And you still have the white clothes, which is also a big success. Yeah, I haven't had to load a single safety save, which is really good. But the run is not that good. But, you know, we'll get there, we'll get there. I swear I will run this again. <laughs> no, like you won't. Five years, maybe. ESA 2024. <laughs> nice. So this zip can crash the game, so I'll try to not crash the game. Like if I go too far, I'm just gonna let the prince die. Okay, it's fine. Sometimes these panels can actually despawn, like I talked about at the start. But they didn't. Also, you don't have to put your dagger there. You can just ball jump. So here, instead of taking the casual routes, I do a zip. It's about the same speed, but it deloads the enemies. Like, or rather, I don't load the enemies in the next area. So I don't have to fight them here, which saves a lot of time, because I need to set up a zip. Which is a double jump again. Like these zips, for example this one, I have to stop completely by heart and by feeling. If I keep it, the rebound for too long, I'm gonna die. If I stop a little bit sooner, I'm not gonna get the height that I want. Yeah, it's a really prominent feature for these last, I don't know, 10 minutes of the game. Uh, well, excluding the mental room, because you're going up a tower, actually subdivided into three parts, like upper, middle, um, lower tower and I mean it's a very high tower so you, you will need a lot of jump sips to get up there that's why it's also very risky in that regard also for the people uh, talking about the estimate we are very very close to the end of the run so uh, well very <laughs> somewhat it's like four more sips Turn. Thanks, mate. Yeah, side there's rolls. like side rolls. No. Oh. Well, you play this game next marathon. <laughs> yeah. So Brazil is supposed to be this epic boss fight, and it's coming up, which is cool. But is he? I hope you guys will enjoy it. Okay, go to the left here. Load the trigger. Last zip upcoming? Yep. Potentially? Potentially, Hope. hopefully, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very hopefully. Aim like this. Double jump and a block roll. And the epic boss is coming up. I think. And he's gone. Nice. <laughs> no, right. here he is. Right here. <laughs> oh, the, the epic final. boss. So basically what they did in this game, uh, just like in sense of time is they put a trigger, a teleport trigger, above uh, the final area of the game. The, or not final area of the game, but the final boss of the game. And because of that, I can just go ahead and hit it, and I don't have to fight it. Even though the boss fight is actually like pretty cool. Actually, it's quite some tech as well in NMG and some small skips and so on. Yeah, because there's a lot of platforming. It's like yeah. a mixture kind of a boss. Unlike Sands yeah. of Time, where the Vizier is just absolute garbage. But unfortunately, in this game, the rest of the game is garbage. So it kind of balances out. Oh, hey, a good game. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you not zipping, by the way? Oh, Why are you doing platform? Where, where's my dagger token? Please tell me. How would I know? Am I the runner? <laughs> Not this year. <laughs> so next year, any percent T2T. You next year, okay. I see how it is. Oh, another good game. That's pretty cool. So basically what is happening here is... Uh, eh, who knows? Um, uh, this is supposed to be like in Prince's mind and he's talking to the Dark Prince, which actually is a pretty cool character. Like, he has some good lines. This part doesn't really make much sense, unfortunately. He's just kind of babbling with fear. Um, another good game, but not a good area. Portal RNG, yikes. And yeah, the, the, the character is really well scripted.
And this is supposed to be in Prince's mind, and basically the Dark Prince is trying to take over, like he's trying to control Prince. Yes, the final conflict within the Prince himself, before he can finally become happy, I don't fucking know, honestly. Like. Unlike me, I will <laughs> not be happy after playing this. for the transgressions of my past. I am no longer that person. I mean, this will be sub 110, so it's pretty good. That's actually considering I lost like four minutes at the start. That's not too bad. Yeah. And like the guard and stuff. Yeah. What's world record again? Like 51 or? Fif yeah, 51 and a half. I think it's half. one hour 51 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, there is Farah. Cribbon, do you wanna the oh, co-op? Yes. The actual co-op, the it, actual yeah. co-op. But we won't beat my Tokas run, sadly. So it won't be co-op world record. I'm gonna press this button soon. Absolute skillful gameplay right here. <laughs> Mash faster. What are you doing? There we go. Not in the cutscene. <laughs> Okay, oh. time oh. is coming. Oh. Uh, time! time. <laughs> so you finish the game, and the game gives you cheat codes, and then it asks you to save, and no, you <laughs> don't save, you plus all the four and never play the game again. Basically. So I'm not gonna go any further. Uh, I was Catalyst with me was Kribben. Toka, thank you so much guys for cooperating with me and commentating. And a huge thanks to Kribben who helped me de -rusting, with de-rusting this game so much. So I'm very, very grateful for my friend here. <laughs> he deserves a round of applause. It was 50% of his run, so you're 50% as garbage as I am. <laughs> right, I hope you guys keep on enjoying the rest of the marathon. I'm gonna be later on, uh, I'm gonna be back later on with something completely different on Friday. If you wanna see it, Please come and see it and enjoy the next run. Bye! Bye!